What is going on everyone, AJ Gaming here and welcome back to the third episode of the FIFA 16 Watford Super League Career Mode. In the last episode, if you did miss it, we won our final two games in the group stages, beating CSKA Moscow and Kiev Verona to finish top on the te in our group. And so today we'll be facing C uh, Cologne in the semi-final and if we win that we'll go on to fa uh, face the winner of CSKA Moscow and Augsburg in the final to win the extra prize money. At the end of the episode we also submitted some uh, tr uh, some offers to other teams for players or, or as you can all see here. Daniel Agar we're probably not going to be able to sign him unless we get enough money from winning if we do win the tournament we could look to sign him we got a lot of players here in I like that we've offered for so far but that we're still waiting for some more um, scout reports to finish these ones here you can see I've got four days a few with two days on them as well so we'll get those back after the next game but anyway let's jump straight into the first game the semi-final of the European International Cup against Cologne We'll probably make a couple of changes. Rashford had a great um, episode last last time, scoring two goals um, to send us uh, send us through to the next round. A few players with some low lowish fitness. We're gonna take off Dini. We'll play a Galo in this one, and we're gonna play Denon Lewis to start with as our striker alongside Igalo. In at the cam spot, we're going to put Berghaus in. I haven't tried him yet. Not too sure how much I'm going to like him on this game. But anyway, we'll keep Kapu in. Or do we put Barami? No, we'll keep Kapu in at CDM. And Suarez can stay in at that right centre mid spot for now. In terms of centre backs and left backs, I'm then going to put Ake back in for Holobas. Goalkeeper and two centre backs is going to stay the same. I'm going to keep Amabat on the bench. I'm going to get rid of Prodo off the bench and put on um, Rashford on the bench as he's been in some good form. So I think that's going to be our lineup. Let's jump in to the first game. So into the semi finals we go up against FC Cologne from Germany. We need to make sure that we get a win to get through to the final. We will play the winner of Augsburg and CSKA Moscow. Let's do this. We switch the play over to Neom on this right hand side. He's got the technique as well as the vision. Looking for someone to make a run. It's not happening at the minute, but Berghaus makes a run now. Plays it over to Igalo. Works it out to Mario Suarez. We're gonna take a shot here. And it's somehow it's gone in. The keeper should have done so much better than that. I think it's gonna go down as the goalkeeper's own goal. But Mario Suarez taking the shot. And somehow it, the keeper manages to mess it up going in I don't even know if it was on target but it hits the keeper goes underneath his arm and it goes into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to us just before half time so I've made two half time subs bring on Alman Abdi and Marcus Rashford for Denon Lewis and Steven Berghaus hasn't really they both haven't really done anything in this game so far so it's about time we need to bring them off so that we can ensure that we get through to the final let's go Mario Suarez using his strength to outmuscle the defender. Rides one tackle. Alwan Abdi looks like he's through here. He's going to take the shot and he bangs it into the bomb corner. It's taken just 10 minutes for Alwan Abdi to get his goal after coming off the bench at half time. Mario Suarez with the great interception and rode the challenge there when he looked to take him out. Plays the through ball to Alwan Abdi and bat. He absolutely smashes it across the goalkeeper. No saving that one there under the goalkeeper's arms makes it 2-0 to us in the semi-final we can't lose it from here Mario Suarez. poor pass for Mario Suarez but Abdi wins it back Gerardo on the ball here we give it over to Rashford on this left hand side cuts back inside looks for the cross towards Igalo can he win the knockdown it comes down to Kapu and he gets the goal the keeper was in no man's land there 3-0 to us, Etienne Capu gets the goal for us. A great uh, cross pass, a cross pass from uh, Marcus Rashford there, cutting inside. Igalo wins the knockdown for Capu. The goalkeeper was left stranded, and Capu was able to put it into an empty net to make it 3-0. Barami to take the corner here. Looking for header, Britos, he's absolutely clean. 
He is absolutely open there and he gets the goal, heading it down into the ground. Five minutes left on the clock. Miguel Britos gets our fourth goal of the game, making it 4 0. He got away from his mark of after the cross was played in by Barami. He was left free on the penalty spot to head it down into the ground and into the back of the net. We end up winning the semi final 4 0. Goals from three midfielders, uh, two midfielders, a defender, and an own goal from their keeper that was the work of Mario Suarez, Abdi, uh, Britos, and Capu getting the three goals for our team and an own goal from the keeper. We go through to the final where we're going to find out who we're going to play in a minute. We dominated the stats except for possession, which I'm not too bothered about conceding as long as we're scoring goals when we get our chances. In terms of rating, Alwan Abdi gets man of the match coming on at half time. Berghaus with a 5.8 and Danon Lewis with a 6.1. Players I took off at half time. Rashford with a 6.6. .6. Had a few shots but some great saves from their keeper. Kapu with a 7.7, .7, another solid performance. Igalo with a 7.5, could be his last game with Britos also getting a 7.5. And Herelio Gomez with a 7.8. Let's see who we're going to face in this final. And it looks like it's nil-nil. We don't know who won on penalties. It is Augsburg won, that won on penalties 5-4 overall. So we're going to be facing them in the final of the European International Cup. Let's go. So after that game, we've got eight emails to check out. Press conference. We're going to ignore Gregory Sertic. They still want £6.5 million. Pounds. I said... I won't spend. I'm looking to spend a max of four and a half to five million pounds. So we're up the offer to 4.2. Couple of extra hundred thousand pound. Maybe could sway their decision. Probably not going to though. Ryan Mason. They have sold, but to another team. So it looks like we're not going to be getting him. Wissam Ben Yedder though has been accepted. Three million plus Igalo looks like a good signing. Romulo they have accepted for 3.8, and Bruno Alves. A contract accepted. Another centre back, so I don't think we're going to be getting him unless we can afford. So they sold Ryan Mason to uh, to Liverpool, as we can see there, and we get an extra two point one million pounds for winning the semi final. So we've got Romulo here, a centre mid that we could take a CDM technically by default. His value they wanted six million, but for some reason they've accepted three point eight. We'll submit a contract offer anyway, fifty thousand pounds up. From the um, up from the thirty-five thousand pound a week that he was on at Spartak Moscow, we'll send that offer to him, and we'll also send a tr uh, tr a contract offer to Wissam Ben Yedda, sixty thousand pounds a week he would like, and we're going to put him as a crucial first-team player, seventy-eight rated at the age of twenty-four. There, a value of fourteen million. Igalo's form must have been what persuaded them. Um, we'll leave them two there just in case we can sign them, but we'll advance another day and see what happens. We get another load of emails, a load of uh, scout reports back. Um, Ian Nacho there, 73 rated, a player we could look to loan, but I don't think we're going to be able to get him. We've already got Marcus Rashford anyway. Mahmoud Dahoud, 3.3 million, 73 rated, probably... Another one we would look to loan if we wanted to get him as a backup centre mid. Diego Roland, £7 million, 77 rated. Not the best of players. There are better strikers that I have scouted. But we'll keep him on there just in case. Samido, I might as well inquire while I'm here actually. I won't inquire about him. I'll inquire about Roland. See what they say about him. Samido, we've already known kind of what his rating is. James Ward-Prowse. 4.3 million, 75 rated, 3.9 million for Tony Vilhena. Contract expiring in 12 months, 75 rating overall, 8 million for Braithwaite. Uh, we'll inquire about him. 77 rated, 7 million for Abubakar as well. Tissone, a bit of an older one, 2.8 million in contract expiring in a uh, in 12 months as well. And the rest of these four players have a, a couple of day, uh, one day left. Sorry, but. We've already bought a centre back, so I'm just going to remove them anyway. I'm not too bothered about finding out their ratings. We'll delete all these emails quickly, and we'll move on once we see what uh, other offers we've got. So after clearing those scout report emails, we've got a few offers back as well. Two unaccepted offers for uh, Aaron Moy. There, they want six and a half million. Still, we'll up it to four point. 
uh, to their, I'm not going to go much higher than 4.55 million pounds. And uh, Valencia, they're not interested in Igalo uh, for Rodrigo. So it looks like he's not going to be the one that we're going to be getting. Because if they don't want Igalo, I don't have the money to be able to buy a decent striker of that worth. But anyway, we'll advance another day. We've got another email about a press conference. We're not going to bother with that. And we've got one more day until the Augsburg game in the final where we could look to get some extra funds. They've accepted £3 million for Raul Morelos. His value is 2.9, which is very similar to what, um, what we, uh, obviously what we wanted to get. £40,000 a week. He's quite an older player, though, so I'm not quite sure if I actually really want him at the club. It's not really the best. Um, so for Sir, uh, they... Uh, Bordeaux have received another bid of 4.6 million for Gregory Sertic, which is probably we bidded 4.2 for the last one. They want 13 million pounds for um, Diego Roland. His value is 7 million pounds. They want five and a half for Vilhena. His value is 3.9. Braithwaite they want 14 million pounds. His value is 8 million. Abubakar they want 13 million. His value is 7 million, and we'll offer. We'll go ahead and make an offer anyway for these players. Um, we'll add Igalo to the striker offers and we'll say Igalo and 3 million for Diego Roland. Uh, 22 years old at 77 rated. Got quite potential there. 5.5 million is what they want for Vilhena. His value is 3.9. So I'm going to offer them 4 million straight up and see what they say in regards to him at that. 20 years of old. 20 years of age, sorry. He's got a lot of potential on him. And uh, Braithwaite, they want 14 million. So we'll offer Igalo and 3.5 million pounds for him. 24 years old at 78 rated, 40,000 pound a week wages. And we'll do the same offer as we did for Roland for Abubakar. A year older and the same rated, 77 rated, 50,000 pound a week wages. Igalo and 3 million pounds for him. And we'll advance the final day on to the, ma uh, the final of the uh, cup and we get three more emails they've accepted that certain offer that I just showed you a minute ago James Ward Prowse they want eight million pounds his value is 4.3 and way over what I wanted to spend so he's probably going to be off the list uh, Fernando Tassone 4.2 million is what they want his value is 2.8 I'm not too sure about him so I'm going to leave him out and that brings us through to the final of the European International Cup if you haven't already seen from the games, uh, our first our first two games of the league against PSG away and Bayern Munich as our first home game at Vicarage Road. And then we have Wolfsburg and Man City before the transfer deadline day. I'm going to be doing the tran probably up until August at uh, the end of the transfers live. I'm not too sure whether I would... I'll do it post com after that so I can get the recordings done in advance. But let me know what you guys would prefer to see, whether you'd prefer live like commentary over the gameplay or uh, after uh, uh, post recording of the commentary of over the gameplay. We're through to the final though and let's jump into the final. I'll show you the squad in a second. So here is the lineup that I've selected for the team uh, for the this final probably the best players uh, informed players that we have at the minute we've got Deeney and Rashford up front that played well in the last group game and the uh, second group game as well Amrabat at Cam, Barami left centre mid, Mario Suarez right centre mid, Kapu at CDM, Holobas and Neom in the full back positions, Britos and Kafka in centre back, and uh, Herelio Gomez in goal. On the bench, we've got Pantilamon, Ake, Ulare for that height if we need to bring him on, Igalo, Gerardo, Watson, and Abdi as well. Let's jump into the game and hopefully we can get the win. So here we are at the final of the European International Cup. We're playing Augsburg from Germany when we are in Germany. There is the trophy. I'm not too sure how much money is at stake if we do win this game or how much we get if we lose. But I'm pretty sure whatever we get, whatever we get uh, will be a massive help for us to survive in this league. As you've seen, we've got PSG and Bayern to come up. We've got to focus on the game at hand today. And hopefully we can get the win. Let's go. 
but they've got it back out to the left hand side again will he look for the cross he's running backwards plays a pass into the middle Kapu gets the uh, tackle in but they've got it back straight away Calibieri we're living dangerously here at the minute they've got the header and it couldn't have been a worse start Fimber Gasson gets the goal we go 1-0 down inside of 11 minutes Augsburg get the early lead he gets past Neum on his, on his outside and the goalkeeper punches the air Header, headed in to an open net the goalkeeper left stranded it's 1-0 to Augsburg already they look in the mood today Augsburg this could be a difficult game Mario Suarez intercepts but he's won it back Kaliabi and somehow it's gone in an off target shot has hit Cathcart I'm stunned with 2-0 down inside 18 minutes Fimber Gasson again causing problems a shot comes off of Cathcart and goes into the corner of the net I'm not even sure it's going in it comes off of his hand there as you can see maybe it was going in it's hard to tell from the angle but they score and they're 2-0 up so soon in the game and Max kicks it out for a throw in to us in the attacking third we find Rashford here plays it over to Amrabat he's going to look for the ball to the back post where Dini's at there and he gets the goal to get one back just past the half an hour mark we're back in the game a through ball from Rashford goes uh, Amrabat turns his man and plays it across the face of the goal and Dini slots it in with his left foot to get, make it 2-1 Barami applying the pressure well wins the ball back Rashford's clean through if we can find him and we do Marcus Rashford gets the goal gets the goal to level it up in the final we're at 2 all with just over 5 minutes left to play in this half it's taken us 20 minutes to get back into this game back to 2 all. this is going to be a great one Fimbergassen playing the 1-2 there he runs past Britos but Britos is keeping with him he's cut back inside he's run past him a great save there from Gomez showing why he's in the team we're on the attack here before half time Mario Suarez looks back to Rashford we play it over and we see Mario Suarez gets the ball through to Dini who starts it under the keeper and we've already turned it back around inside of one half 3-2 to us all now Dini gets his second of the goal grabs a brace a through ball out to Rashford plays it back to Barami plays it through to Suarez gets a little poke ahead of the defender and Dini pokes it underneath the goalkeeper's body to send us 3-2 up before half time so I'm making a double substitution bringing off Marcus Rashford and Mario Suarez on is Obi Olare and Alman Abdi in their spot straight swaps for those two players plays the ball into the box Kapu there back defending and out for Dini it's a three against two if we play it right here Barami can run down this left hand side he hasn't got much energy left we'll look for the ball in towards Ilari at the back post uses his heading prowess and gets his head onto it and puts it in to the bottom corner out of the reach of the goalkeeper and surely that means we're going to go on and win this game from 2-0 down to 4-2 up 5 minutes left to keep the lead just with a 2 goal cushion Barami running well down this left hand side plays a lovely ball into Alara who attacks it straight into the side of the net with a great header no goalkeeper is going to save that 4-2 and that is it it's the end of the European International Cup we win the final five games we end started off with a smashing at the hands of Stuttgart but we they ended up not even making it to the semi-finals and we win in the final against Augsburg 4-2 after being 2-0 down at 18 minutes and we thoroughly deserved that win the team ecstatic with how we played you can see there our first uh, trophy for the team probably not going to get another piece of silverware this season the main objective is to stay in the league match stats we had very similar stats so seven shots both each four shots on target made four goals for us 46% possession 
for us. Man of the match was Barami, like I said, with an 8.9. Mario Suarez there with an 8.1. Gomez with a 7.9. And Dini as well on an 8.4. Dini with two goals. Ulare with a goal. And Rashford with a goal as well. All goals from the strikers, unlike the last game where it came from the midfielders and the defence. The defence got low ratings overall. I suppose that's to do with how the game began, conceding two goals. But anyway, I'm ecstatic with that win. Should give us some extra bonus money to spend. Let's go. So, for the rest of this episode, I'm going to advance through to the end of July to the 1st of August, a week before our f opening game of the season against PSG. Hopefully, we can make some more signings before the end of this episode. But first of all, we've got some training to do. We'll continue with the training that we've already set. To um, Ulare did incredibly well with that header before. Goes up to halfway through the 69 rated towards 70. Hoban has hit the 70 mark already with just a couple of weeks into this career mode. We've also got four emails back. Wissam Ben Yedda accepts the contract. If we accept that, that brings us down to 10 million pounds because we are only spending 3 million on um, on the actual transfer uh, fee. Bruno Alves we could sign or Aga as well for 3.8 as another centre back if we want to change both but I'm quite happy with Britos I think at the minute. Romulo another option there but I'm going to sign Ben Yedda. We're swapping him with Igalo there. 3 million plus Igalo for those. We'll stall the rest of these and uh, we'll make a decision to see it. We'll We'll see what other um, contracts we get if we get other, other centre mids because Romulo was not my first choice uh, player to get. We get Wissam Ben Yedda who's probably going to push Marcus Rashford onto the bench in the best team. We also got Zapata to come back from international duty to go onto the bench. High, high work rates can play striker or centre forward. A small striker to go alongside the taller, more powerful Troy Deeney. Five star weak foot, four star skill moves goes into the team instead of Marcus Rashford and Ulare will go out for Rashford there so that's probably our best team at the minute we've also got a couple more emails there uh, in regards to transfers and we've got a new obviously we got that new signing Romulo obviously we saw accepted the contract we've done that we got two and a half million pounds extra budget which just paid for our uh, Ben Yedda signing they're happy with us going um, winning the European International Cup. We could go ahead and sign Agar or we could look to buy some players that would even further better this team, which I suppose the weakest point with our lowest rated players is the centre back position. So maybe Agar would be a good player to bring on in alongside Zapata. They've accepted four million pounds for Ville Henner. Now that's someone I would like to sign. 75 rated at 20 years of age we could grow him using the training and his wage is only 25,000 pounds a week we'll put him on an important first team player um, also another thing for Melbourne City no, they don't want that uh, price I'm not going to pay the amount they want to pay for him and looks like we've lost the Daniel Agger it's, we've left it too long to sign him but we could always go back and try and sign him again Let's see if we get the... So, Raul Morellas has accepted his contract that we sent, but I'm not too sure if I want to get him. We'll continue advancing through the get, uh, through the days. Hopefully, we can get t uh, Tony Vilhena on, and we do get him on board. So, after that signing, we still have £6.5 million pounds left. £4 million we're paying for him, £25,000 a week. I could take Romulo as well. would be a backup CDM to... Um, Kapu there could also play in the centre mid role. Let me know whether you think I should sign him as well or whether there's someone else that would be better off signing. Raul Morelos, I think I'm going to leave him. He's too old for his rating. He's only going to begin to decrease. And we know that Vilhena is 75 rated overall so he'll probably go on the bench. He's got 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. Can play centre mid or cam. So another cam option that we could put in there as well he's going to come onto the bench instead of Watson there and that's going to be how the team looks now after that new addition so we've brought in the striker the center mid and the center back that we wanted to buy overall so 
we still got some money left to spend so who do we look at buying so if I put the wage up to about 50,000 pounds that gives us roughly six million pounds in spending money to look to buy a new player so we could I'm gonna put uh, quickly put Zapata in there and we'll take Proto off the bench because I'd rather have actually no I'd rather have um, would I, who would I have I've got Rashford on the bench there do I need another striker on there? I suppose I do because strikers tire quite easily. So now that we've lost uh, Igalo, we've got two 69 rated strikers and that's really it unless we played Berghaus or Lewis at the striker spot as our backup. So maybe we look to try and loan another striker like maybe um, Iheanacho could be a good shout there. Maybe we'll go and inquire quickly about um, Iheanacho if he's on this one I'm pretty sure yeah there he is so 25,000 pound a week wages 4.1 million we'll look to get the one year loan we'll do two year just because maybe we can get him 25,000 pound a week where wages would cut down on our budget if we wanted to bring in another player like a bought player but anyway let's continue we're nearly at the end of July now we'll see if we get the loan offer back from Man City but before that We've got some training to do. Hopefully, some more players can increase before the end of this episode. And there it is. Danon Lewis going up to a 65 rating there. And Olare so close to in that 70 mark, but doesn't quite get there with an A and a B on his two drills. Uh, we advance another day and another one. Maybe we'll get... Will we get the result back on the, um, the loan? And Man City, they do accept a Na Iannaccio for loan 73 rated would be a good backup to bring off the bench alongside Marcus Rashford I'm gonna sign him anyway get rid of that email from uh, for Raul Morelles we'll advance these last couple of days to the first here one week before the uh, start of the season with against our first game against PSG we're gonna take off Ulare and put on Ian Nacho or Ian Nacho however that's pronounced three star three star six foot two and Rashford is 5 foot 11 with 3 star 3 star so not a bad bench overall maybe uh, Abdi would be look, uh, someone we'd look to improve so we could play Vilhena Harado at Cam as well Amrabat has gone up to a 79 rated player now he's probably definitely going to be he's our best rated player at the minute Zapata is back from international duty Holobas has already gone down from a 77 to a 76 but that's not going to worry us at the minute We've got a good team, so that is probably going to be the end of this episode, guys. We're in to August, one week before the start of the Barclays Premier League Super League season. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, make sure to leave a like down below as it really helps the channel grow. Subscribe for more of this FIFA 16 Super League Watford career mode. I'll try and bring it to you every other day, so subscribe for that and that's about it the premier the league season will begin next episode so that is going to be it guys enjoy your day and i'll catch you later